Ladies and gentlemen, the Sex Pistols. Punk has taken London's youth by storm. People's minds are too imprisoned. We want to destroy that so the future can emerge. I am an antichrist. I am an anarchist. This project must have been a dream come true for you because the Sex Pistols did have quite an impact on your on you and also I guess the whole punk movement in a way, doesn't didn't it? Huge. I, I was 19 when it kind of kicked off. And the and the pistols just exploded, and it was and it felt like a it felt like a home straight away, in in all its uncomfortableness and 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 you know and there's lots of it that's well it was distasteful then and you know like the spitting and everything like that but but it was a it was a revolt and it was a deserved revolt against a society that was so stultifying so rigid. You know the British, the class system. It's like these stupid people that you're meant to have deference for, you know, and who are telling you you're not qualified to do that. And the Pistols just said, we can't even play. It doesn't matter, we've got something to say, and it's to get rid of you lot and, <laughs> and the way you see things. And that was wonderful, to be able to join in that was absolutely amazing. Come see us play, we're awful. We're creating a revolution. I don't want musicians, I want saboteurs, assassins. Very musically different and very different to things like Strictly Ballroom, Moulin Rouge and, and yeah. Elvis. Yes. What was your interest in the Sex Pistols? You know, I was very, very aware of the influence that the Sex Pistols had on music and culture as I was, you know, growing up in the beachside suburb of Narrabeen, where, where, I, where I grew up. And, and I was really, really aware that that was such a huge influence on art, music, culture, filmmaking, uh, fashion, obviously. But it was really, really the personal story of, of initially Steve through reading his book, uh, Lonely Boy, which I listened to as an, as an audio book and he reads it. So you get this one, I mean, Steve's a really beautiful person and you get this whole la layer of um, his self-deprecating humor, his, his vulnerability. Um, and I really fell in love with him as a character and I thought, you know, that's what you really want as a writer. You want a, you want to plug into characters because that's what audiences plug into. We are the sex pistols and we are coming to shoot you down dead. He's got to go, he's got to know. Steve, I want a quick word. Where? Out of the others. Mr. Driver, John, I just want a quick word. Steve! What's up? I just wanted to give you one last little kiss for the evening. A and M would like to offer you a contract. How much? One hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. I mean, you have a difficult role doing Malcolm McLaren because you know he was a very complex character. Yes, I did. I spent a lot of time watching him, I and mean, we were lucky that uh, there's you know quite a quite a good amount of footage out there, um, which is just a, a brilliant source material. I'm also quite lucky that he likes to speak. Um, so he, he, he goes on quite a bit in his interviews, which is brilliant, and he gets very passionate. It's fascinating to just sit and, and watch him. We had a three-month band camp to prepare oh. for the shoot, because during the shoot, Every performance you see in the show is actual live performance. Nothing was pre-recorded, nothing was post-recorded. We did everything on the day. And that was always Danny's aim because the pistols were so perfectly imperfect. And it's great to be able to see the lumps and bumps of true performance. So we had this three month band camp and at a certain point in it, we started to wear the costumes a little bit. And I remember for the first time performing with the guys, but with a pair of brothel creepers on and a, and a bondage strap around my trousers. And it just moved me, my body so differently. It was impossible to not sort of succumb to the effects of Johnny Rotten a little bit during that. So yeah, all these little things were real big helps along the way. But the song's not about the Queen. It's about how our generation has no future. If we made this, we made it. Look at it. Do you think this will open up, uh, you know, to especially maybe a generation that doesn't know a lot about them? Do you think it will really sort of explain who they were and their legacy in many ways? I hope so. Yeah. I look forward to things like 
you know, people that are really into fashion, seeing why they wear safety pins on their clothes, the origins of that, or people that are, we spoke, we spoke about the, the ripple effect of the Sex Pistols. Like if you drop them into the ocean of music, all the bands that rippled as a result, and people that are fans of bands today like Nirvana or New Order and stuff, and to see where they began, where their inspirations began, and they began with the Sex Pistols. I find that so exciting, and I'm just excited for these guys to inspire a whole new generation of people. What do you want to say with your music? Actually, we're not into music. We're in a chaos. This is punk!